Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Catlin Martin and James Price. We're talking about the Baby Butte Training Facility Adoption Event coming up in about a month's time. Gentlemen, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so James, let me start with you. Uh, this event is, is kind of the first of its kind. Tell, tell us about this. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a unique approach. The uh, group of locals in Adel came to us, came to the BLM, um, wanting to do something with the increasing herd problem at uh, Betty's Butte. So we started a pilot program, an assistance agreement with a nonprofit, and it entails uh, the bait trapping of horses instead of large helicopter gather, administering a fertility control, and then any horses we remove go to this training facility for adoption. Hmm. And our goal is to adopt out 100% of the horses that we take off the HMA. Okay, and so uh, I, I think we, I mentioned the, the adoption event is in April, in about a month's time. Um, where is it being held? Adel, Oregon. Okay, all right. And uh, so, Catlin, how many horses do we know? How many uh, there's going to be up? 10 head of horses, ten all two-year-olds. Okay, and, and where do they come from, James? They come off of the, they've all come off the Bay's Butte uh, herd management area, which is just uh, east of Adel, about, oh, 60 miles east of Adel. And we started with, there was 1,200 horses out there. The appropriate management level is 100 to 250. So we gathered horses down to within AML and started this program of training them and, and trying to get them adopted out. Okay, and, and are these animals trained? They are. They're, they they're come wild. to us wild, okay. and then uh, by the end of the course of the training, they're going to be gentled under saddle and hmm. ready to go. Okay, how, what, what kind of uh, training process is it? How many uh, we how usually have about take? 60 days, 60 rides on them. Okay. And, um, then they'll be ready for the public. Okay, very good. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, guys. Not much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Catlin Martin and James Price talking about the Beatty Butte Training Facility Adoption Event. So, uh, so this is this whole collaboration. Uh, James, tell us about how it all got started. Yeah, it started uh, a really broad group of people uh, from. Um, some environmental groups, some horse advocacy groups, some local ranchers, local government, all came together to discuss a lot of issues out in the Betty's Butte area. And it all came down to the biggest problem was the overpopulation of horses out there. It was leading to a lot of other issues. And it just kind of spiraled from there on what we could do to manage these horses in a more holistic way. Uh, fashion to actually manage them instead of just doing big gathers and then letting them get over AML again and do another big gather. And so hmm. that's how it kind of all started and the nonprofit was formed, like I said, and, and uh, it just kind of moved on from there and it's, we're very hopeful. Yeah, and, and the auction's coming up in about a month's time. Yeah. Um, what are the requirements to, to get one of these horses? So you have to be 18 years of old, you're 18 years of age. When you get to the adoption event, we'll have you fill out some paperwork telling us you've got the facilities to hold these horses, a five foot high fence since they're gentle horses already. Um, some other things, but it's a pretty simple form to fill out. You'll do that. Once you get that paperwork filled out, you'll get a bid card number to uh, bid on these horses. Okay, and, and yeah, you talked about uh, them being gentled and uh, Catlin, uh, what type of training have, have they undergone and how much more is perhaps, uh, um, generally speaking, that they need? We try to expose them to a little bit of everything. Um, kids, dogs, traffic, uh, but they're still two-year-olds, they're green broke, so when somebody adopts them, they're going to have to continue their training with another trainer okay. or ride them, not turn them out for a year okay. and then get on them and go. So they'll need further training as Not they go. finished products. Not okay. finished, they're okay. green broke. Okay, all right, and so you guys did some of the hard work on that already. Right. Exactly. Okay, yeah. so uh, if people want more information, you know, they want to do some research on this on this thing, what's the best way for them to uh, about Facebook. That? They can get on at uh, Baby Butte Wild Horses, and the same with the website, okay. BaityButeWildHorses.com. All right, very good, gentlemen. Thanks for being here. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.